Hi, so today we will continue here with the platform as a service model. So in the previous class, we just covered about the introduction to the platform as a service. So platform as a service, that means it's a service which is provided here by the cloud systems to, to the various uh, application developers so that they can develop the various applications applications that means it provides here a platform for development of the various applications their testing debugging and uh, debugging so overall we can say that here uh, runtime environment for various applications here so today in this class we will study about the various characteristics of platform as a service the various issues related to it and then we will discuss the various systems various pass systems here so the very first uh, which we're going to study here is the characteristics of a pass service model here so first of all we have here characteristics of platform as a service model So, the very first uh, characteristics or characteristic of this model here is that it offers browser based development environment. It here offers browser based development environment so that means it allows the various developers to create database and edit the application code via api that means with the help of application programming interface so what it allows here it allows the various developers to create the databases and edit the applications here so it provides here the browser based development environment including the editing of those application codes also so another feature, another characteristic of PaaS service model here is that it provides built-in security, scalability and web service interfaces. That means it here provides built-in security, then scalability. and various web interfaces here. Now, third one is that it provides built-in tools. As it is a development platform, so it here provides certain built-in tools. That means the built-in tools are like a are for like defining the particular workflow that means here are different tools for defining workflow or for the approval of certain processes and defining business rules so it provide here many built-in tools after that it is easy here to integrate with the other applications on the same platform that means easy integration of easy integration with other applications on same platform next is that this platform as a service also provides web service interfaces that allows us to connect to the various applications which are outside the platform so that means it here provides us with the web service interfaces so with the help of this web service interfaces, what we can do, we are able here to connect to the other applications which are outside the one, uh, we can uh, outside of the one platform, like we have one platform for this model and there is another model having another applications too. So these web interfaces allow us to connect to that platform.
here. Now, these are the characteristics of your this service model here. Offering browser-based development environment, then features like built-in security, scalability, interfaces, certain built-in tools, then easy integration on the same platform and web service interfaces so that we can connect with the applications outside the platform here. Now, after the certain characteristics of this PaaS model, we will here now discuss the various issues associated with it. Now, as we know that this platform as a service play is, is an environment tool, so it here places significant burden on the consumer browser to maintain reliable and secure connections to the provider system. So we have here certain pass issues. So first of all is that lack of portability between pass clouds. First is lack of lack of portability between fast clouds that means various among various platform as a service clouds there is a lack of portability yet they're portable but there are some problems with that so if we're using standard languages are used that means standard languages are used here for the implementation of the various platforms but certain times what happens the services may vary for example the file queue uh, file queue or the hash uh, table interface of one platform may differ from another so what happens it makes it difficult to transfer the workload from one platform to another so we have to use here certain kind of uh, interfaces here so the first issue with this is that it has a lack of portability between the various clouds, between the various pass clouds. So after that, the next issue which is associated here with this is the event-based processor scheduling. In your platform as a service, we have event-based processor Scheduling. Now, what happens? The various applications or the various pass events here are oriented, uh, which possesses resource constraints. So that means the various applications or events here are resource constraints on applications. That means uh, what happens? They have to answer a particular request in a given interval of time. So that means there is a scheduling here event-based processor scheduling that means once you're making a request has been made so they have to respond to that request in a given interval of time so this is here another issue with this now the third one here is the security engineering of your platform as a service model security engineering of platform as a service app here. Now, since the past applications, this platform as a service applications are uh, dependent on network. So that means these applications must use certain cryptographic and uh, manage security exposure. So this security here is also an important issue. That means certain security measures should be applied here. That is certain cryptographic techniques also uh, should be used here for the security purpose. So these are the certain uh, issues associated with platform of a uh, service like your interoperability issue between the various paths clouds here. Then we are saying here there is a scheduling. That means event here is our schedule based. They have to respond here in a specific time here. Third one is the security parameter related to this. So uh, 
we started here about the characteristics of your pass models and then the pass issues here now next we have here the various categories of your platform as a service model Or we can simply write here as pass types. So these are the uh, certain models of your platform as a service. So with the very first like we have the public one. Then we have private pass. Then the mobile. So the very first one here is the public one. Now what happens with this or what here is with public plus? So this public platform as a service is derived from your software as a service. Now we have, we have different service model here like from IAS which is your infrastructure as a service model then the platform as a service model and then we have software as a service. So this is derived here from your software as a service and this is situated between if this is your infrastructure as a service and this is your software as a service so this is here your public platform as a service model deploys. Now this is as from its name publicly provided from a cloud provider here or your pass service provider here. Now the next one which we have is the private one. Now what happens for a private uh, platform as a service that it can be downloaded or either it can be installed on the now, company's premises infrastructure that means on that particular infrastructure it could be downloaded or it could be installed. So once it has been installed what it has to do after the installation this private platform as a service arranges the various applications and databases into single hosting platform. That means how it is private so it, this will here combine all of the applications and databases uh, onto one particular hosting platform. Now the third one here is your mobile pass. Now this was uh, developed here or this mobile platform as a service provides the capabilities for the mobile app designers and developers. That means for like this provide here a platform for mobile application development and deployment. So the various vendors here for your mobile platform as a service are like your cloud mine or any presence. So these are the three service models here. So this further subdivisions for your platform as a service that is your public one, private and then the mobile platform as a service. So that means the services here are both in both uh, in public and private the services are uh, your conventional platform as a service that means providing a debug debugging testing environment here that means development of a particular application so this is here provided for your mobile applications here. now after that we have further classifications for this past type so we can simply say that the number of systems on which this platform as a service resides So the various systems on which it is found here. So the very first one here is your stand alone development environments. Stand alone development environments. After that, the next one which is provided here is application delivery 
or only environments that means it is only your application delivery only environment third one is open platform as a service last one is your add on development facilities so the very first one which we have here is the stand alone development environments now so this is basically like your uh, stand alone pass so that means stand alone pass here works as an independent uh, identity or as an independent entity for a specific function so that's why it's here as a stand alone because this is here uh, providing or uh, acting as an independent entity for one particular application here now next one which we have here is the application delivery only environment now this application delivery only means that it doesn't provide any platform for development and de uh, debugging or testing etc it doesn't provide the capabilities of your uh, development deployment debugging or your testing so what it includes it only includes on demand scaling and application security so it here is only for your on demand scaling and application here now the next one here is open platform as a service now what happens in your open platform as a service open pass it is regarded as your open platform as a service now here with your open pass it offers an open source software that helps a pass providers to run the applications that means it is here providing an open source software that's why it's an open platform it is providing here is uh, an open source software which will help a pass providers to run the various applications now the last one which we have here is the add on development facilities now with your add on development facilities or we can simply here call it as your add on pass now with this one which is your add on pass it allows to uh, it allows to customize the existing uh, software as a service platform so this allows that's why it's referred as an add on because it allows here to customize the existing ss platform with these systems so that means we have various kind of platform as a service systems some of them like are uh, your stand alone that means some systems will be using your stand alone pass services and some of them will only require scaling and certain applications no development debugging environment here then certain systems will have open platform as a service and some will have the add on facilities with them so here we have started some uh, the characteristics of platform as a service so certain issues which are associated with this service model and the various types of your platform as a service here so this is all here for today's class we will continue with the infrastructure of your platform as a service in our upcoming classes thank you so much